just got a little bit ago, you said he, uh, when he first got here, one of the first things he did was go out to dinner with you, and I think you said Billy was there as well. Uh, what was that dinner like, and, and what's it been like getting to know him as the new offensive line coach? Uh, it was a good dinner. We had talks that day before, and just, you know, kind of got familiar with each other and talked about, you know, his family, my family, you know, expectations, what he's done, what I've done, kind of just feeling people, feeling us, you know, feeling us out. And we made dinner plans for that night. We went over champs, you know, it's real casual and just talked about, you know, his players and who he's coached, stories, just kind of just talking, you know, just feeling each other out and what he's about, what I'm about, what we gotta do together to get this unit going and, you know, just all that type of stuff. So it was it was a good dinner and kind of set the set the base for what we wanted to do and and yeah, it's like that. So were you comfortable right away considering he it seems like he sort of made that more of a collaborative process yeah. than just him saying here's how I do things. Yeah well we, when we first sat down it was Coach Meyer, Coach Judd and myself. Mm -hmm. And Coach Meyer said a few words and we started talking and the first thing he said is we're gonna do this together. You know? You know, you, you know we're gonna do it together. We gotta lead together and Billy too, obviously. So that was the first thing, you know, we set the ground with that. And that's what we've been doing. We've been doing it together. Was the dinner was Billy the dinner or was it just you and Coach Dad? It was just Coach Dad and I. When do you have trepidations, concerns, anything like that when, you know, you're going on five years here and you've known one thing with, with Coach Warner for five years and now a new guy's coming in. Just what were your I guess initial reactions to knowing you'd have a different position coach? I was excited about it, especially Knowing Coach Stud and his background, and he's been with Coach Meyer, I was real pumped about it. Like you said, I've been with Coach Warner for four years, and you know, I, I know what Coach Warner teach, I know what he expects, and to get a new perspective on things, I'm excited about that. And just you know, add add those tools to my toolbox. You know, just keep we call it loading your toolbox. So I'll just have you know, more ideas, and techniques, and different looks at stuff. And Coach Warner's with the tight ends; he's still going to be around. So. He'll still be, you know, throwing his two cents in, whatever. And I know what Coach Warner expects being with him for four years. So, um, yeah, we're excited. Have Coach Sud. Guys love him. We all love him. He's, he fits really well in our room. When did you know that fit was there? How soon after meeting him did you know that it was going to work out? Right away. Just talking to him. And when, I sat, when Coach Meyer and I sat down in his office, and once we started talking, I knew, I was like, you know, this guy's going to be perfect for us just because I know all the personalities and, in our room and, and just get to know his, I was like, this is gonna be perfect. How different is it in offseason conditioning with such a young team, especially in one year now, guys that actually know they have a chance to play? Yeah, it's different. Guys are hungry. They're out there trying to earn spots every day. That's what it is. We've been calling it the land of the wolves, you know, eat or be eaten. So, you know, these guys have been grinding and trying to earn a spot because every day we're evaluated every day on everything. If you're not on top of your game, there's someone behind you coming up to take that spot. So that, those guys have been grinding. They're hungry. But yeah, it's different. I think last week, uh, Coach Matus, one of our strength coaches, told me that there were 47 guys that was their first time doing mat drills. That's so what we did this morning. I was like, wow. Like, that really hit me. I was like, wow, 47 guys have never done this workout that we're about to do before. And that just shows how young we are. But the guy, those guys are hungry. They've been getting after it. So. We're, we're happy with how it's going so far. How do Matt Mills go today? They're, they're rough, you know. 555, the horn's blowing, and, you know, we're out there grinding, and, and they're real, they're really tough, mental toughness. And, you know, you have to make a decision. Either you're going to separate yourself, you're going to be that guy, or you're going to be with the pack. So that's Matt Jones. We're trying to separate those guys. You know, are you going to be average, or are you going to you know, stand out? And that's... That's Matt drills. We relate it to football, you know, fourth quarter or, you know, fourth and one. You know, what are you going to do? Are you going to get the first down or are you going to get stopped? So that's we're trying to translate that toughness from Matt drills, and that's going to roll over to the field. Who are the guys who have already stood out in Matt drills and finishing? Some guys that have stood out. Evan Lyle's doing well. Matt Burrell's doing well. Demetrius Knox is doing well. Isaiah's taking steps. So all those guys that are competing for those spots. Jamarco's doing really well too. He's stepping up. He's he's where he needs to be. So those guys that are 
trying to earn those spots, they're stepping up and they're they're grinding. So I think as of now, they're doing well in the off season, and we're just going to see how well that translates to spring ball and if they can go on the field and perform.